The Milky Way galaxy is excessively big. Measuring around 100,000 light years in diameter, this island universe accommodates between 100 and 400 billion stars. But recently, the ever-impressive James Webb Telescope discovered a massive structure in space that's 60 times bigger than our Milky Way galaxy. What is this mysterious new structure called? And exactly how big is it? Let's find out. The cosmos is a complex island composed of hundreds of billions of stars and galaxies, one of which is the Milky Way galaxy. Like every other element in the universe, it's difficult to measure the size of the Milky Way with words, but it's even more difficult to comprehend just how massive it is. According to the official records, astronomers believe that the spiral galaxy with arms was formed some 13.6 billion years ago. These pivoting arms were originally discovered from infrared photos shot by NASA's Spritzer Space Telescope. But aside from the arms, much of what we know about the Milky Way galaxy was revealed by persons or equipment affiliated with NASA. The prominent space agency was the first to discover and report that our solar system is situated near a partial arm of the Milky Way called the Orion Arm. It is situated approximately 730 million light years from Earth. And as we mentioned earlier, this intriguing island universe measures around 100,000 light years wide and 1,000 light years thick. In the same way that the Earth and other celestial bodies orbit the Sun, the solar system spins around the center of the Milky Way galaxy. It does this at an incredible speed of over 800,000 kilometers per hour. Yet it needs approximately 250 million years to complete a single revolution. For perspective, the last time the solar system completed a revolution around the Sun, dinosaurs were still roaming across the surface of the Earth. Scientists are not exactly sure about the weight of the Milky Way galaxy, but the most accurate estimates suggest it is somewhere between 890 billion and 1.54 trillion times heavier than our Sun. For the record, our Sun contains around 99.86% of the entire mass of our solar system. Stuck at the center of the vast cosmic island is a supermassive black hole called Sagittarius A. This beast is about 4 million times bigger than our Sun, consuming every ounce of stellar material in its path. The name Milky Way was chosen due to the obvious milky white appearance of this astronomical object. According to Greek mythology, the Milky Ban is believed to have been sprayed by the goddess Hera. From the side, the Milky Way galaxy looks like a gigantic thin disk with a lump in the center. According to experts, the flat shape is a result of the galaxy's wild rotation. And as you know, everything within the Milky Way is held together by gravity. In 1920, astronomers engaged in a fierce debate about the scale of the universe and the prospect of galaxies. One of the scholars involved in it, Harlow Shapley, made two arguments. First, he proposed that our solar system isn't at the center of the Milky Way galaxy and that the island universe itself isn't as big as initially predicted. On the other side of the divide, there was Herbert Curtis, who argued that the Milky Way is a different entity, just like any of the many galaxies that exist in our universe. Thankfully, Edwin Hubble was able to settle this intellectual dispute through his measurements of Cepheid variable stars, which proved the Milky Way is indeed a different entity. Interestingly, astronomers discovered that Andromeda is much bigger than the Milky Way. According to the fact sheet, this spiral galaxy is 220,000 light years wide. That's more than twice the diameter of the Milky Way. Subsequent observations revealed that the Milky Way was part of a nearby group of galaxies that includes the Virgo supercluster. Furthermore, astronomers strongly believe that most of the debris produced by the Milky Way cannot be detected by our space observatories because it doesn't generate or absorb electromagnetic radiation. The invisible entity is what is known as dark matter. But apparently, there's a lot more going on with the Milky Way galaxy than just the disposal of junk. Observations from new advanced space exploration gadgets have helped to reveal some of these strange activities, including the existence of 10 billion white dwarfs, 1 billion neutron stars, and nearly 100 million stellar black holes alongside hundreds of billions of stars. While the size of the Milky Way galaxy is intimidating to Earthlings, it is perhaps not as fascinating as the prospect of two galaxies merging together. 
This was the case some 1 billion years ago when two clusters of galaxies collided to form a massive shockwave called Abel 3667. This phenomenon is currently hidden from the prying eyes of most space telescopes. However, the ripple effect is quite visible across the region where the collision happened. This iconic event was first reported in a science paper published in February 2022. As reported by the principal author of the paper, Francesco Di Gaspera, the discovery of this collision was facilitated by the Meerkat radio telescope situated in South Africa. Aside from discovering the event itself, the team also found out that the structures involved in the merger are much more complex than they initially thought. But perhaps we shouldn't be surprised because galaxy clusters are well known for their phenomenal characteristics themselves. To start with, they rang amongst some of the most gravitationally bound formations and when they combine, they generate an incredible amount of energy. In fact, based on scientific calculations, the collision between two galaxy clusters that led to the formation of this massive strange structure is believed to have produced the greatest amount of energy ever emitted in a single cosmic event since the Big Bang. Astronomers estimate that the newly formed Abel 3667 is composed of 540 individual galaxies, all of which are represented by the white colour at the centre of the galaxy's image. Meanwhile, the shock waves created during the formation of the supercluster are represented by the red colours shown in the image. In the grand scheme of things, this supercluster can be regarded as one of the most remarkable space discoveries of recent times. But of course there have been several other iconic discoveries as well. One of them is the distinctive cosmic gas cloud that was discovered by a team of astronomers and researchers headed by Chung Ji, a scholar from the University of Alabama in Huttsville. According to the study, this weird cosmic gas cloud is extremely massive inside. In fact, it is believed to be much bigger than the Milky Way galaxy. Like other superclusters, scientists suspect that this strange element must have been formed by the collision of different galaxies. However, there is another theory that suggests that this cloud could have separated from another galaxy as it travelled through space. But in any case, scientists are intrigued by the ability of this strange cloud to remain glued together for hundreds of millions of years. After observing the said structure, astronomers decided it was best to name it the Orphan Cloud, owing to the weird features that it possesses. This includes wild temperatures believed to be somewhere between 10,000 and 1 billion Kelvin. The Orphan Cloud further adds to our conviction that there are several other cosmic mysteries yet to be discovered in space. And since it is quite difficult to find them, scientists sometimes carry out advanced computer simulations to predict their existence. One of these experiments showed that this cloud of cosmic gas clouds could have been kept together by a strong magnetic field as it drifted through the emptiness of the cosmos. However, considering the sheer size of the cloud, we can confidently say that it provides observable evidence from the theory that the intercluster medium may dispose of or deplete galaxies of their gas, which in turn will aid them in tracking their parent galaxy. But more importantly, the knowledge gained from the observation and the impeccable capabilities of the James Webb Telescope will definitely help discover similar gas clouds and perhaps other celestial elements in the future.